Okay, so before we move any farther with our application um, and add, add any more functionality, I wanna go ahead and get this up on Heroku. That way, as we move forward, we can uh, see if there's any issues as we push up new changes to Heroku. So if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up for Heroku. It's free to use to get a basic application up and live, and then it makes it super easy to scale your app and make it a lot more powerful. So if you haven't already, go ahead and sign up and go through the sign up process and create a Heroku account. The next thing you want to do is Google and or go to toolbelt.heroku.com. And what you need to do is download and install the Heroku tool belt. After you've done that, what you can do is manage your application through the terminal. So once that is installed, go to your terminal and let's uh, clean this up. If I do a git status, all right. So what I want to do is you can do a Heroku login to log into your account. Enter your email and password, and then authentication will be successful. And then from here, we can, uh, we've already created our application. So what we wanna do is create a Heroku, do Heroku create, and this creates this creates a Heroku app for us, which is fantastic. All we need to do now is push up what we have from GitHub to Heroku. So what I wanna do is git push um, Heroku, and then we are pushing the master branch. So instead of just doing git push and pushing up to GitHub, we're doing git push Heroku. So we're pushing to Heroku, and we are pushing the master branch from GitHub. So let's push that up. This will take uh, a bit of time, uh, depending on your internet connection. So uh, give it some time. I will jump back on once it is finished. All right, so as you can see, I got an error. It says uh, push rejected uh, to my uh, Heroku app. And uh, if you got that as well, the reason is because uh, we need to set up a few things in order to work with Heroku. So you can see, make sure that gem SQLite 3 um, is installed. What we need to do is go to our application. Let's get out of these and open up the gem file. The issue we are having is Heroku does not use the SQLite 3 gem. Uh, we are only using that locally for our development database. So what we wanna do is copy that, go down to the bottom, let's do group of development, um, do and end. Then inside of here, let's add the gem SQLite 3. But for the um, Heroku and production, let's add a group of production, do. We need to add two gems for Heroku. So we need to add gem, oops, gem PG, and another gem called a gem rails underscore 12 factor. All right, and once that's done, let's go ahead and also define a Ruby version. We are using Ruby 2.1.5, and make sure to put that in quotes. Um, all right, so let's save that. Now let's go back and do a bundle install, and add the flag dash dash without, and then space production to make sure we do a bundle install so it doesn't install the production group locally, but it will install it on Heroku. All right, so after that is done, do a git status. Let's uh, commit our work, because Heroku works off of git, so our application, or git needs to be aware of the changes, so let's do git commit, and since these are just modified files, we can do dash am, and we'll say added pg and rails 12 factor gems for Heroku. All right, now let's do a git push to push it up to GitHub. And now if I do git push Heroku master, this time it should not fail, but I'll jump back on after it is done uh, pushing up to Heroku. Okay, so now that that is done, uh, what we can do is a command called Heroku open, and this will open up the Heroku app, uh, pacific-forest-9589, in my case, .herokuapp.com in Chrome. Uh, but as you can see, I'm getting, oh, we're sorry, something went wrong. So if we check the logs, let's do Heroku logs. It is trying to loop through the posts on the homepage and 
those posts don't yet exist on Heroku. So if you have to think about it as there's a two separate databases, there's one in development and one live on Heroku. So uh, we have yet to create the database. So we need to do um, Heroku run rake uh, db colon migrate. And what this will do is it will go and create the tables that we have locally on our Heroku app. All right now let's do a Heroku restart just to make sure. All right. Now, if we go back and refresh, beautiful. All right, so this stuff is just static content, which is why um, it's showing up, but we don't have any posts just yet. Let's uh, go to slash post slash new, just to make sure we can create a new post. I'm going to say uh, the do list, and I'm actually going to find that post. So I'm just gonna paste in uh, that actual article that I wrote. <clears throat> All right, and let's uh, hit create. So we didn't get any errors on Heroku. That's fantastic. Now let's go to articles. We're not looping through the articles just yet, but we are looping through them on the homepage. Fantastic. So everything is working correctly on Heroku. If you want it, this application is live, so you can go ahead and share this link with someone else. So in the next video, we're going to set up our post to use the discuss commenting system.